Picture this. You're on vacation with your family, walking down the colorful streets of Oaxaca, Mexico, the country in which you were born and raised, having an amazing time, looking at all the beautiful things the place has to offer. While doing this, you walk by a group of people who work selling tours of the city. One of them sees you and shouts at you. Güerita, you turn to see who's talking, and you see this man. Speaking in English, he starts offering his tours to you, but your native language is Spanish, so naturally you answer, no gracias. Meanwhile, for an unknown reason, he's staring at you highly surprised. And yes, that was something that happened to me a few years ago. At first, I was a bit confused about why he was looking and talking to me in a foreign language. So I started thinking, why was it that he spoke to me in English? Am I not Mexican enough? Should all Mexican people share the same physical features? Why was it that just because of the way someone looks, in this case, me, people assume different things? Maybe it was because I don't fit the traditional physical characteristics that a Mexican supposedly has, and perhaps I looked like a tourist. Was my image projecting something that I wasn't? Was I stereotyped? But what does this word mean? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, a stereotype is a set idea that people have about what someone or something is like, especially an idea that is wrong. A phrase that is often used when talking about this is, never judge a book by its cover. And yes, I know, we've heard it a million times, but it is actually very true. You never know, looks might fool you. Some fixed ideas we can find on a daily basis during our time in and out of school can be the nerd who gets perfect grades is antisocial. The popular group of friends can be the posh, disastrous, and mean. Girls drool for boys who are part of the football team because when they play the sport, they automatically become hot. When girls go out wearing miniskirts, they're easier to flirt with. Teachers don't care what their students have to say or think. I observe these situations, although these preconceptions aren't necessarily true. Preconceptions and therefore misconceptions are common and a natural thing that we do. Most of the time, we even make them unconsciously. But what's the difference between preconceptions and misconceptions? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, a preconception is an idea or opinion formed before enough information is available to form it correctly. And a misconception is an idea that is wrong because it has been based on a failure to understand the situation. With effort, I've been working on not letting most of my preconceptions take over my encounters with new people because these mislead me into thinking opposite ideas of what a person I just met is really like. I am able to associate stereotypes with strangers most of the time. It could be at a grocery store, at school, at parties, even on social media. Not always what you see is what you get. I will see happy, luxurious, pretty people, and in reality, it may be the total opposite. After some thinking, I remembered that I also form preconceptions, just like the tour guide. The first day of high school, during recess, I saw a new girl who I thought would be a very mean and shallow person, even though she looked vulnerable. I thought I'd never get along with her. But when I approached her for the first time, she had a big smile on her face, and we immediately started talking. Some things I've learned from her are, don't take things too personal. You can laugh off most things, like mistakes or embarrassing situations. Being nice doesn't cost anything, and it can take you a long way. I was pleasantly surprised about how she really is in contrast to what I had initially thought about her. As I mentioned before, there are many other things I have yet to learn, but when meeting new people, we have nothing to lose. Or let me ask you, what have you got to lose when meeting someone? Nothing, the answer is nothing. You only learn new things that could add new and interesting perspectives that will enrich our own points of view. From my experience, I've learned that different people think, create, and have different preconceptions based on their own knowledge, background, and by what others have shared, which applies to me, but I'm sure a lot of you can relate. This experience has had an impact on my life ever since I was a little girl. Of course, back then, I didn't even know this was a thing. 
Now that I know that this is something that happens, I know that I've had other experiences in the past, not just the one I shared a few minutes ago. As a consequence, it has taught me important lessons, like becoming self-aware about my thoughts. If I'm judging too fast, I try to consciously slow myself down and think. Let me give myself a chance. I barely even know them. Plus, it's a, it is a way to make new friends. A clear example of something that happened to me in middle school was that I wouldn't speak to other friend groups except for mine. Oh, I won't hang out with this girl because she gets along with the girl who dresses all black and doesn't speak, and this other girl who has a weird haircut. They're part of the weird kids, and I don't want to be identified as one. What makes a person become part of the weird kids? Why do we classify people by looking at who they hang out or get along with? Why are friend groups so exclusive that we don't talk to others who aren't involved within the same group? It could be because of the same thing I've been talking about for all along, which are preconceptions. Visualize this. What would happen if we all were to look exactly the same? Every single person on this planet would look identical, but we would still have our own unique personalities. This thing called stereotypes based on our appearance wouldn't even be a thing. Yes, it would probably be very boring and dull, but our personalities would be everything to us, our essence. Even though we don't all look the same, our personalities are our essence. With this, I'll leave a question for you. Are stereotypes preconceptions? If there's one thing I've taken away from this is, people's good intentions, values, and personality are worth the effort of surpassing your preconceptions, even more than their physical appearance, background, cultures, ideas, and beliefs. Finally, I invite each and every one of you to go beyond what the eye can see. Go beyond looks, break the ice, Talk to people you usually wouldn't. Oh, and by the way, if you were wondering, La Guerita did end up going on a tour in Spanish with a company that had initially offered their services. Thank you.